Um, welcome new people to fandom. So I think it's really cool if there's a new fan, embrace them. Um, yeah. I actually, since I am a fan of a lot of stuff myself, it is cool to like experience that with other people. Like, I tweet about TV shows all the time and I'll end up like talking to my followers about the same show. Like Pretty Little Liars, Once Upon a Time, The Flash, Arrow, Superman, I can go on and on. But it's fun to like have a little community. So welcome new fans and like experience it with them, it's cool. Yeah, just kill them with kindness. Don't, don't ever yes, resort. Yes, Dan Selena. Yeah. Spread the love. <laughs> um, be good and help out Tom Scott's soup kitchen. Start the soup yes. kitchen, people. Uh, yeah, see me on uh, Soup Kitchen Saturdays. Uh, <laughs> coming next week. Uh, no, if I were to say anything, I would say, please just know that everyone you're watching is just a person, and... And I, I know that kind of ruins it for a lot of people. Like, it's very hard to sell merch to your audience if they know you're actually not a deity. Um, it's hard to have a very fierce, wild, frantic fandom. Um, but please do bear that in mind. Like, they're just people. Dear God, that everyone is so deeply flawed. Stop it. No one is perfect. Just know that they're all just ugly. They all poop. <laughs> There's all so much pooping going on right now. Lots of poop. Just bear that in mind, every YouTube you're hugging, there's a 50% chance they, have a poop. they either just pooped or they want to poop now. Okay? I really have to. That's so a great just perspective. Bear that in mind, they're just people. The milk fandom. I'd say... <laughs> oh no, you've started something now. Um, I'd say that it's important to remember, this might be something you maybe you don't agree with, but it's something I massively experienced myself. You, if you're in a fandom, you are, to the rest of the internet, a representative of the person you're a fan of. And this happened, I won't name names, but this happened to me where I had fan groups attacking me. For a while, some fan groups didn't like me. And, do you want me to start again so you can vlog it? I got that shot, bro. Okay, cool. Uh, so, I had some fan groups attacking me, and they had profile pictures of, of, a, of a YouTuber. And I started to attribute that negative so, yeah. feedback and hate to that YouTuber, so much so that for about two years, I thought they hated me, even though I'd never spoken to them. And so I think you're a rep you are a massive representative of, of, of the person you're a fan of. If you've got their, their face on your picture, then people are going to attribute your opinions to that person, not to you. Um, That's so a brilliant yeah. answer. I, I used to, yeah, I used to blanketly just dislike anyone, like all, like the vlog brothers and all that because I just had so many negative experiences with the DFTBA fandom that I was like, I hate Nerdfighters and I hate everyone on their network. And like, I'm on record, like I'm in Becoming YouTube. Like I think just talking about how much I hate uh, Nerdfighters and stuff. I think everyone had an experience yeah, like but, that. Yeah, but it was like, and, that, and now I'm like, wait, no, that's, but it's true. Like they, you, you are absolutely a representative of that thing. And this, this is true in like, not just in YouTube, but in everything, every TV show. I mean, hell, let's get deep, even religion. Like, the most vocal and extreme people will wind up being the representative, at least in the eyes of the masses, of that group. Yeah, well, be nice. Let's, uh, let's be not nice talk about be nice to people. Spread love. Use your passion to spread love and positivity and kindness to other people in your fandom. Thank you very much for attending the fandom panel. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Have a lovely day. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Can I stay on the sofa? It's